Key Fossil Reef Geological State Park. Let's go check it out. Windley Key contains some of the highest elevations in the Florida Keys, at about 16 feet of sea level in some parts. And so it was a logical place to bore into the limestone for various projects. Here at the state park, you can actually go down into some of the quarries. So the Florida East Railroad Company used quarries like Winley Key uh, here to help build the Overseas Railroad, which was eventually opened in 1912. During the construction of the railroad itself, the limestone was used simply as rock fill. But it was soon discovered that the fossilized coral could be sliced and polished and used for decorative stone. The quarry was actually used all the way up through the 1960s for that decorative stone, often called keystone. And these slabs became features in various historic buildings, including Vizcaya in Miami, as well as all sorts of homes and government buildings in and out of Florida. So this is Key Largo limestone. It was formed around 125,000 years ago when the sea level was much higher than it is now. And if you look right in here, you'll see this is an old coral formation. And that's what you see over and over again in these rock deposits. Here at Windley Key, uh, the quarry walls are up to about eight feet tall, and you can find all sorts of different species of coral that make up this rock formation. Now remember, corals are animals, and they're formed from a number of individual polyps that secrete calcium carbonate as their skeletal structure. You can see some of the individual cups called coralites right here in this fossil. Because we're in the northern range of coral formation here in the Keys, Boulder corals may only grow about a quarter of an inch a year. So if you look at the walls of uh, these quarries, that's a lot of years worth of growth. By studying the corals within the quarry walls, scientists are able to look at coral growth rates and just like tree rings, kind of get an idea about what the environmental conditions were like in the past. The individual corals that make up this wall could have lived for hundreds of years at a time. But together with even deeper limestone cores from here in the Keys and throughout Florida, we can tell the tale of sea levels rising and falling over millions of years. There's nothing like walking around on coral that was formed over 100,000 years ago. Since these old corals were exposed as an island, there hasn't been enough time to develop much of a soil base here. So the plants need to be able to send their roots through cracks and crevices within the limestone. Of course, the quarry wall itself provides some good opportunities for some of these plants and trees. <laughs> now remember that uh, limestone is made out of calcium carbonate and rainwater is generally slightly acidic. So over time, rain does start to dissolve the limestone. Generally in Florida, as the rainwater percolates through this limestone, it'll dissolve cracks and crevices and create open spaces for water to flow, forming the basis of our aquifer system. And as you can tell, life can adapt and evolve to all sorts of different circumstances. All around the quarries here at Windley Key, you can find a thriving tropical hammock community. This is a gumbo limbo tree, and it's often nicknamed the tourist tree because of its peeling bark. The golden orb weaver, or silk spider, can be seen making massive webs among the hammock trees. You can literally spend hours finding out about all the different plants and animals that make this habitat their home. So if you happen to be in the Florida Keys, I highly suggest you stop by and check out Winley Key Fossil Reef Geologic State Park. Winley Key really allows us to gain kind of a geologic perspective on time here in Florida, and it's kind of hard not to. In the get visitor center, you can actually get a piece of the uh, Keystone Limestone. Here's a little block of it. And it's kind of neat because if you look in it, you can actually find little uh, coralite polyps of corals that lived over 100,000 years ago, which is really cool. And although these corals from the past tell us of the story of rising and, and falling sea levels, our corals that are living today are also telling us a story. As the climate's changing, so are the ocean temperatures. As those ocean temperatures increase, the corals are reacting to this change. One of the things we've noted over the last couple of decades are uh, what we call mass uh, coral bleaching events, uh, where a lot of the corals are dying off. 
And this is happening because of not only increased temperature, but also uh, the increased prevalence of disease and other things that occur in association with those changes. As carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere increases, it's also diffusing into the ocean at a more rapid rate. And this is causing a couple of problems. One of them is uh, ocean acidification. And as oceans become a little bit more acidic, they're actually threatening any organisms that have calcium carbonate as part of their skeleton, which includes corals, crabs, lobsters, a lot of things that we know and love. And so it's really up to us at the end of the day to start making some changes and protecting our oceans for the future. And of course, here's a little clip from our coral reefs today. This is French Reef down in Key Largo. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button and subscribe for more.